Hey, First Baptist Church Allen family, Pastor Chad here. I hope it's been a good week for you. We're looking forward to the weekend. I'm here in the student ministry building. God's doing such wonderful things in our student ministry. I appreciate Hayden, his ministry to our students. Encourage folks in the community. Encourage your kids. Be a part of what God is doing in student ministry. Disciple Now weekend's coming up. Lots of great stuff. Be praying for our student ministry. Now, Sunday. We are going to have a special offering. It's already available to you. Uh, we recognize there are just masses of people who are refugees from the conflict in Ukraine. God has opened some doors to minister to people and share the gospel with people and share God's love with people that might not otherwise have that opportunity. These Ukrainians who are displaced, we have a wonderful team of people in Poland who are doing a great work to feed, care, and share Jesus with people. And we're having a special offering. You can do it online. You can do it in person on Sunday. We'll talk about it more there. Be a part of caring for those people, and not just for physical needs, but for eternal hope. Now, we're starting a new sermon series on Sunday, and we're calling it Walls, and that'll lead us all the way to Easter Sunday. We're gonna follow that theme. There's some great stories about walls in the Bible. Some of them need to need to come down and some of them need to be strong as a protection around us. And so we're going to look at some of those wall stories over the next few weeks. Just decided if we're going to start a series about walls, you just about have to talk about Jericho. And we're going to look this Sunday at the walls around Jericho, which are the second biggest walls that had to come down in that story. Because the biggest walls that had to come down involved a woman who lived in Jericho. And we're going to talk about her and tell her story. I found a lot that touched my heart. It'll touch your heart, too. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday.